recently I had a guy that's very, you know, older guy, but very, very tough, um, that basically would always just lock down. Just lock down whatever we were drilling. So there are two answers to that. And kind of it's, it's kind of funny because when I go in, I always go in and it's like, let me try. Because it's kind of interesting, you know, there's always a possibility of failure, right? Where I spectacularly flame out, where I can't get stuff done. That's a problem. You know, you need to have an answer. I, I, I get it that we're not all, all knowing, but at least you need to have an answer to, to see why it's, it's failed. But usually, well, very usually, very, very, very usually. I succeed, so, but there's, it's always, you know, and you know this from sort of the beginning, like if you've been training for a while, there's always some guy comes in, what about this? Or, you know, if you, got, if you take a big football player, and you allow him to do this, to try to armbar him may not be possible, but you can armbar him in, in the transition. So that's answer number one. The opportunities for the submission are created in the transition. When you start from a static position, it's much more difficult because there's no momentum, there's no, no, no looseness, the guy's fully locked down. We're gonna go over two examples. And the other one, there's always an answer. If he's defending that one specific sweep, submission, item, uh, limb, they're usually opening others for you. So don't kind of put your blinders on, see what else is available. If it's your regular training partner, kind of keep an eye out. Okay, dude, just do me a favor. Hold on and let me see what, what else is out here. So make sure, guys, you understand the specific techniques involved here. But also, you understand, you know, kind of the general philosophy. Create the opportunities in transition. I, you know, listen, two-on-one is, is, is a great concept. But it doesn't work f from a static standpoint. If the guy is super strong, and there are some guys that, you know, forget the guys that lift. I'm talking about the guys that have that farmer strength. That basically, you know, you can't do anything. You feel like, oh, crap, what have I got myself into? <laughs> so when you face that, there's, first of all, if that goes fast, it's a completely different story. So I'm going to show you both when it goes fast or what else is there available, Okay. So the very first one is, um, we were doing a normal plata, and as you know, the guy just buried his, his arm underneath. So again, if, uh, uh, let me attack the omoplata from, from, so let me just start from, from split guard. I'm gonna attack omoplata and you try to bury it, okay? Go. It's kind of too late. You can see he, you can see he did not bury it. Again, because we did not start from a static position, right? It's already that hand is, yeah, he's defending, but not well enough, not fast enough. So there's a massive difference whether the guy's hand is here or holding on in, to, to here to here. That difference is that tra it, 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 the opportunity. If you start from transition, you start from static, yeah, this is a lot easier. Even I could hold out for a little bit, okay? Now let's look at it, what happens when there's a static position. No, no, they can't see shit. Do, can we scrub that out? Keep <laughs> turning. <laughs> so here, so from a static position, Keon hit his arm, he, he basically based out. So I could do this. And yeah, he has to move. All right, now I'm sitting up. Now I have a, a reasonable possibility of an attack. Or I just try to sit up, try to sit up. And as he's kind of trying to base, kind of put, bring the shoulder up, I just kind of basically heist. Okay, so there's a couple of two different ways to kind of deal with it is to try to pry his leg open. Anytime you pry somebody's leg open like this, yeah, 
what happens. Now I can attack the arm because he, his body has to move in response to the pain. Okay? So, we, again, we're going to go over greater detail over this on the app because we only have limited time on YouTube. So, if you guys uh, are interested in greater details, subscribe to the app. Yeah. So, foxugaglobal.com. We're out of time. Not Real quick, the second one. So just lay down. Just lay down. Facing the key. Yes. This way. So, again, guys, when I go for a Kimura, if I catch him, uh, if I catch him here, again, in the transition, I will be able to take it. It's easy. When he locks up here, you, uh, clamp down. Clamp down. Clamp down. Yeah. No way I'm going to take it. You know, if the guy is 110 pound weakly, yes. But here, it's not going to happen. But you could always have different answers, you know, um, uh, depending on, on, uh, on their defense. Again, remember, two things. Either create the opportunity in transition. If you're starting from a static position, then there's always an alternative for you to attack. Okay? Guys, we'll see you on the app.